Hello YouTube, and welcome to a new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So, if you remember last time, I said that it'd be really cool to make one of the planets have rotating a asteroids around it. So asteroids are constantly rotating around it and look really, really cool. And it's really, really easy to do as well, so I thought we'd chuck it into a tutorial, just quickly, a quick one. So what I'm going to do is come over to the planet I want to put the surrounding things on. So I'm guessing I want to put it on this red one here. I don't know why, it just looks cool. So what we need to do is first create the asteroids for around it. And all I'm going to do is get this 50 asteroids here and I'm going to put it into its own prefab because each individual one already has its um, destroy functions and everything on it so it would work fine. So what I can do is come down to prefabs which is in resources, prefabs and do we have any landscape for asteroids? No. Nope. So what I'm going to do is grab the 50 asteroids and just stick it into the round there. The reason I'm not splitting them up is because then we'll be there forever. We can manually move them if we want to. So, so I'm going to create an empty game object. In fact, I'm not. Here I am. And I'm going to call it um, Rings. Yeah. But I'll get whatever planet name it is. So, Monomalist Rings. So, like Saturn's Rings, Monomalist Rings. Makes sense. So, I'll just keep that floating out there for a minute. So, I'll drag our 50 asteroids out and I'll just randomly place them there. So I'm just going to literally circle it with rings, not identical, like so squashed together you can't get anywhere near it, but yeah. All I want to do is rotate it around the atmosphere like this, but if you want it to rotate other ways I'll show you how to do it while we're there. So I'm not putting many there, because like even putting that there, think how crap it is. So I've gone in and just randomly put a few in there, not a lot. And then what you can do if you really want to is you can manually move some of them. So just to randomise the position. We will eventually probably script this so it looks even better. But if you just randomly come in and really fine tune it with your own hands, you can make it look really, really good. But the only issue is it'll take forever. So what I'm going to do is double click into this one. And I'm just going to randomly select a few, just like this. Just a few. And I'm just going to rotate it randomly, just like that. And I'm just going to completely move it. And I'm going to come into the next one, do the same, and select these lot, but then these few. Rotate it in a random position, like that. Come into these, select a couple here, not there, that one. So what you can actually do is make it look really, really realistic. But if you put a lot of these asteroids in, you're going to get lag. So that's why I'm trying to avoid that in, in well, completely. So if you just put a few in, and then what we can eventually do is like add a plane there or something, so it looks like a lot of them are there, but it's just in a loop. So I'm just going to pause it and just carry on doing this, just so it looks like we've got a kind of ring, and then we're going to start rotating it. So I'm back and I've done it, and now you can see we've got a really nice looking ring on it. And what we can do is, what we're going to use is a tool called rotate around. It's not a tool, it's more of a command for Unity, so like you've got transform position, it's one of those, and it's called rotate around. And what it'll do is you can actually set it with three variables. You set it at the point where you want it to rotate around, and where, which rotation you want it to use, which I'll explain in a minute, and then the speed of it. So we want it to rotate around this planet, so we'll set it a target. Okay, that's done. Then you went, what you want it to rotate around is you want it to rotate uh, say so I get these and rotate it on the y-axis so it spins like that so it'll be spinning around it like that which is what we want or you can have it rotate left so it'll go up and over it so it'll circle it like that you can do lots of different things so we may implement them all so it looks like there's a few of them so what I'm going to do is select these 50 asteroids except that bottom one and then I'm going to stick this into minimalist rings and boom, so that works. And I can drag that inside Planet Minimalist. Oh, that one. So, we've got that. What's next? We, we now need to make it actually rotate around. And rotating is a script we might use quite a lot, so if we're getting in the atmosphere, we can activate it so it starts pulling us in one day. Not yet, though. So I'm gonna go to Scripts folder, and I'm gonna find Items. Uh, just close some of these down. Items. And I'm going to put it in space, so right click, create folder, space. And in here, I'm just going to call it uh, rotate around. Yeah, just like that. And I'm going to attach this to not just the main folders, but hopefully the individual ones. And the reason I'm doing this 
is because in that way you have easy access to it. So each individual one's going to be thinking for its own. It's not going to be um, everything's just going to be symmetrical moving around because that won't look very good. It's, some will be fast, some will be slow because we'll add random speed to it as well. So we're going to, it's going to be an advanced rotator arm, but it'll be a good one. So we can come up here, and what we'll do is in our prefab, instead of selecting it on all, we're going to select our 50 individual asteroids and just attach it to it, just like that. So we've now attached it to it. So if we were to start it, nothing would happen yet because we're not coded it. So I'm going to open it up, and it's actually really, really simple to do it. So what I want to show you as well is actually the Unity documentation. I want to show you how to use it. This one here is actually the one you um, go to. So every time you type in a command, it'll come up with this. And I'm going to show you how to basically use it. So you can look at it in different languages, but we want it in JavaScript. So transform.rotate around. That's the command. So it's a transform variable. We know that because we've changed something. So up here, this is where it tells you what these bits mean inside it. Don't worry about me, I already know this code. It's not a check if I want to show how to use it. So rotate around, that's the name of it. So when you put that code, you put a bracket, then what you need inside it. So there's a point, and it's got to be a vector 3. I didn't mean to click that. So what, so what point is it, basically? What's it going to rotate around? And it's got to be a vector 3, so that means it's going to be a position. Comma, it needs an axis. So which axis is it going to rotate on? So it's a vector 3 again, so x, y, z axis. And then the angle is a flow, and that's, it's a funny word for it, but basically that's the speed, how fast is it going to rotate around. Now there's a short description for it, but I've just explained it, and then it shows you how to do it. Now we could just copy this straight from it, but we don't need that, because this can see it spins at 20 degrees per second. We don't want that, we're changing it. So we're going to go back, and I'm going to zoom in. And up here we'll type var target and it will be a transform. So this target is going to be our object you want to rotate around. The next one we're going to add is var random speed and it will be a boolean. And you'll notice why we're doing this in a minute. And I'm also going to duplicate it and make it an integer and call it speed. But I'm going to set this speed default to 10. So it's just, we've got some random ones there. So the target is which object we're going to rotate around, which we'll code in now. So what we're going to type is transform, so whatever we attach it to, it'll begin automatically, dot rotate around, and then in bracket we're going to put, so vector 3 point, axis, angle, you can see it in notepad. So put target, dot position, make sure you put position or else it'll get an error. And then we want, well, we will eventually want the speed, but we need to tell it what angle to rotate around. Now I just want it to be a normal rotation, so I'm going to put vector 3 dot up. If you want anything else, try left, right. We did this in the tutorial about something else, I can't remember. But have a look at it, it'll work fine. So we've got that, then you put your speed. But if you just put speed, it'll zoom around and 10 it, it'll be too slow, fast. So all you're going to do is slow it down by times, time, dot, delta, time. Bracket that. So all that'll do is literally rotate it around that. So we can go in and try that right now. So if I just drag my game view down here so it doesn't interfere and you come up here, you'll see that all these will either crash or rotate really fast. So of course we get an error because we never assigned the target. Simple enough. So I'm going to grab the minimalist rings, not the rings, the planet, and attach it to the prefab. And you'll see it won't work because of the error we got last time. So what do we do? Basically this is where it gets annoying. You've got to go and attach it to each individual asteroid. So up here, if you just type in asteroid, and not the 50 asteroids, just get all these ones down here and just select them all. What you can then do is they'll all be selected, you can find planet minimalist and you can just attach it to the transform target there. Something I just thought, this will actually cause a lot of errors if you keep it like that. So take the minimalist rings out and stick it in planets. If you kept it in the planet, it would mess up really badly. Yeah, so keep it out of it. We'll one day figure that out. But if we click play now, you'll see it begin to start rotating around it. And it will look really cool. So as you can see, look at that. We have rings rotating around. So if I drag this up and find my character and drag him here, as you can see, we are rotating we have rotating asteroids rotating around our planet. So it looks really cool, really, really cool. But what I want to do is set it up with some random rotation. So by default up here, I'm going to set this boolean to true. 
because then we don't have to grind and assign it all. So what we're going to do is just up here at function start, function start, all we're going to do is set the speed to be random if the random speed is true. So if random speed equals true, which it does by default, then we're going to create a new var random range. So var uh, rand speed will equal to equals random dot range and we'll put what we range and want to be. So we want it to go from 1 all the way to uh, 30. So it's either going to be really, really slow or really fast. And then we, all we do is set speed equal to random speed. That simple. And that, because it's automatically ticked, will give all of our asteroids really, really random speed. So some of them will be really, really fast. But then others will be really slow and you'll not notice it. So click play and watch the magic. So you may get a lot of lag from it because you are duplicating objects which have a lot of polygons. But... It wasn't working simply because random speed is default is already set at true false so it's not very good so all you do is type in asteroids up here select all the asteroids except the 50 ones and just tick it down that simple the random should might create a lag at the beginning of the load but imagine if you've got a loading screen now you're not going to notice it'll load so as you can see now look at that it looks so much better so they've all got different random speeds and they're all going in a ring around it oh look at that fire I think it looks so good. But as you can see, if you click off it, there's random pieces of junk flying around. And what we can eventually do as well is make it so if something hits it, it's drawn into it and starts flying around it. So it looks really cool. And then we've also got the start of a black hole there as well. There's an interesting video I saw on YouTube. I'll post it in the description if I can remember it. And this guy's actually created actually created a full black hole in Unity so it starts pulling things getting bigger and pulling things and gets bigger it looks really really cool anyway that's all we're going to do look at the random rotate around it looks really really cool we'll be able to use it eventually for atmospheres and stuff I hope you liked it and see you next time